Ooh, part three. I guess I'm wordy this morning, which this is mostly for me, so I don't even know why I'm going through this <laughs> exercise and nonsense. Uh, back there, you can see my one lone chicken. She's, I don't know if we're calling her a miracle or we're calling her something else, but she was really sick. So when I moved the rest of the chickens up to the farm this year, I kept her here because I was pretty sure we are going to bury her. We buried two others, same age, they're not even a year old. Um, they had these strange symptoms. I, I looked all over the place. They're kind of paralyzed. They couldn't get up. They couldn't walk. Uh, let me get you out of the fence there. Anyway, uh, she slowly got well, and I still don't know exactly why. One day a stray cat was in the yard and she was screaming at it. And I thought, oh, she is better. She was walking around. Anyway, this was some random hay I picked up at the driveway the other day for, um, huh, soccer ball looks like a grandkid has been in there. Um, I picked up at the end of the driveway because it was a busted square bale every day I look in there just in case she started laying because if she actually starts laying I'm counting her as well and putting her back at the farm you know also um, <laughs> I got my net out because oh my gosh she was eating my plants the other day and uh, that was not cool she almost got moved to the farm at that moment in my little greenhouse I love it very I call it a potting greenhouse I still have plants in there looks like I need to open the door before it gets hot today um, the other part of the chicken run, uh, they had it down to bare earth, uh, before they moved, but it looks like the ferns are coming back. Hopefully they're not, you know, deadly. This is the weird thing I'm trying right along here for some, uh, they're tiny tomatoes. They're the kind that are, you know, like grape tomatoes or cherry tomatoes. Um, because if they're at the farm, I'm probably going to lose them. Uh, <laughs> random dog over there. He's, uh, he's big and friendly, but that's why chickens go dead. This is exactly where I quit between the path around the new raised beds. So this is where I kind of need to come back and do some digging all along there and uh, leveling. It does. It's no big deal when you're in a bigger property, but these tiny properties, uh, you know, the ups and downs kind of magnified. Anyway, this is the raised beds. I have six of them. They're three by uh, eight because we had a bunch of um, roofing left over from the uh, sheep shed that we took down at the schoolhouse because my kid didn't love the sheep there. Eh, he's a dope. Um, not really. I like him. This is the where we finish redoing the fence last year. It took us a whole year to redo over there, another whole year to redo over there. Um, we're busy people and it's hard work. Um, I put rocks all the way around the bottom. Don't know if you can see that. Um, the help chickens didn't not go out. So this is where my little strawberry patch was uh, this year. It really worked out well. I couldn't believe it. Um, haven't decided if we're going to fix this part of the fence or not. Neighbor said it was okay by them if we didn't. Um, yeah, maybe. Uh, <laughs> and this is the asparagus, which I did actually get asparagus off of this year. But if you try to do anything now, you're going to get it by the stinging nettle, which I did actually harvest this year. And, uh, I don't know, I suppose my health is greatly improved because I did that. Um, put those plants there last night. I gotta take those up to the farm and do some filling in. I think they're zucchini. Uh, <laughs> but who knows. My first ever cabbage planted way too close. There's some kind of over there, over there, over there. Um, I grew these from seed. I can't hardly stand it. That's working out. It's all full of little maple um, seeds. I keep pulling them out, but they keep coming back. Anyway, could use some good, uh, really, really big weed in there. 
Hi, dog. Um, dog came to visit me. I suppose me talking.